think Martin should start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, but, I, but I do think, just, just to take one, I, I think uh, inclusion. I think CBDCs and, and that whole can do a lot in terms of financial inclusion. So I, I, I hope that that's the principle. And, and that's also uh, an area where I think if you develop open source, that that can really leverage that. And so I think financial inclusion is, is the one thing that I really hope that, that some of these mm -hmm. things can, can push forward. Yeah, so, so that's really important. If I should say one thing, I think I'd say that. Mm -hmm. That's good. One thing to keep it quick. Oh, okay, one thing. Um, I, I'll take financial inclusion, I'll add privacy. So I think, again, thinking about trust, uh, money as a social construct, how do we uh, start to um, think about privacy in the state, individual privacy in the state of these new technologies, um, which will contribute to how successful we are when we think about inclusion goals. So I'm gonna. So let's say. Yeah, I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so let's. So build it. Building on building, inclusion, yeah. <laughs> privacy. Um, you know, the, the core of this is obviously systemically important infrastructure at scale. So that the security and yep. scalability and it has to. You know, the, the confidence that that everyone has to have in the in the functionality of their of the fiat currency is like there's no there's there is no higher bar. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you might guess, but it's transparency. And I think mm. transparency <laughs> yeah. really, you know, open source has this unique way of being able to be transparent while drive increased security and privacy. And so mm -hmm. 